Eight years ago, HyperX introduced the HyperX Cloud 2, a model that quickly gained popularity. The immense success of this model has made the company wait for some time before launching any successor, although they did release some follow-up versions, like the Cloud 2 Wireless. Now, HyperX has come forward with the HyperX Cloud 3. This updated version is an over-ear, wired gaming headset that features a detachable boom microphone. The HyperX Cloud 3 holds its worth as a significant addition to the Cloud headset series. Though the Cloud 3 resembles its predecessor, the Cloud 2, HyperX has opted for a more elegant design. By removing the contrasting stitching from the headband, it presents a less gamer style and is available in two color schemes, an all-black one and another in black with red accents, like red forks and logos on the ear cups. The Cloud 3 maintains the lightness and comfort that are trademarks of the series. It bears Bears a sound profile similar to its counterparts, such as the Cloud 2 Wireless and Cloud Alpha. The latter model was once our choice for the best gaming headset until it was superseded by the Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro last year. What makes the Cloud 3 particularly attractive is its competitive price of $99, which is quite budget friendly given the headset's build and sound quality. Design and Comfort of the Cloud 3 The HyperX Cloud 3 is a wired, closed-back, over-ear gaming headset with a detachable boom microphone. It retains the general design of the Cloud 2, but with a sleeker, more premium look. It's available in black and black-red color schemes. The headset has a steel headband, aluminum forks curving toward the ear cups, and a padded leatherette headband without the bright stitching of previous models. The Cloud 3's ear cups are slightly more contoured and angled for fit, with a more subtle HX logo on each ear cup. The black-red version, however, features bright red aluminum forks and logos. HyperX promises unmatched comfort with the Cloud 3, a claim that holds as it is extremely comfortable and lightweight at 10.86 ounces. The headset's weight is comparable to other models in the Cloud lineup and competitors. The headset balances well on the head, with a low yet sufficient clamping force to prevent it from slipping off. The Cloud 3 also features large, plush, leatherette-covered memory foam ear pads contributing to its comfort. The headset is adjustable with tiltable and height adjustment ear cups. It also has on-ear volume control and a microphone mute button. Despite being wired, the Cloud 3 appears premium and well worth its $100 price tag. The Cloud 3 features a non-detachable analog cable and a USB-C dongle cable for extended cord length. However, unlike the Cloud 2, it does not include accessories like a mesh carrying bag and replacement ear pads. Audio performance of the Cloud 3. The Cloud 3 maintains the 53mm dynamic drivers from the Cloud 2, offering slightly larger size than most competitors, but smaller than Audi's and HyperX's top models. The HyperX has redesigned these drivers for more optimal sound direction, resulting in a smooth, detailed audio experience. The frequency response range of the Cloud 3 lies between 10 and 21 kHz, slightly wider than most gaming headsets but narrower than the Cloud 2. This results in a refined sound profile, resembling that of the Cloud 2. The Cloud 3 exhibits impressive bass response with a deep and powerful presence even at lower ranges. The kick drum of Lord's Royals, however, lacks some detail. The mids are somewhat muted, evident in Anya's Orinco flow, while the highs are slightly amplified, pushing Britney Spears' toxic to the edge of uncomfortably bright. Despite its robust bass, the Cloud 3 offers a balanced sound profile, making music listening enjoyable. However, its narrow soundstage and lackluster dynamic fall short when compared to more high-end audiophile-targeted headsets like the Audi's Maxwell. In terms of gaming, the Cloud 3 delivers good sound quality, although its DTS surround sound falls short. Despite this, it offers well-layered detail in games like Subnautica, Below Zero, and Uncharted 4. Compatible with PlayStation and Nintendo Switch via USB and Xbox via analog, the Cloud 3 offers ample detail and a satisfactory gaming experience despite its somewhat narrow soundstage. The headset's comfortable fit and minimal sound leak do compensate for this to some degree. Microphone of the Cloud 3 The Cloud 3 features the detachable 10mm boom microphone that HyperX asserts has better clarity compared to the 6mm microphone on the Cloud 2. 
The microphone uses a condenser capsule with a unidirectional pattern, noise-canceling technology, and an internal mesh pop filter. It's fixed to the end of a durable 3-inch gooseneck arm. A red LED next to the microphone indicates when it's muted. In terms of sound quality, the microphone is adequate. My voice registered sufficiently, though not at broadcast level. The noise canceling did a decent job of eliminating background noise from my PC fans without distorting my voice. However, the microphone records at a relatively low volume a problem shared with the Cloud 2 Wireless. Although moving the microphone closer to my mouth improved the volume, it introduced fuzziness into my voice. The built-in pop filter worked effectively, reducing plosive sounds even when the microphone was too close. The microphone did pick up some sibilance regardless of distance and produced rather loud noises when I activated the mute button. Despite these issues, my colleagues didn't notice any change in my voice quality when switching to the Cloud 3, indicating it's not terrible, but not exceptional either. While it doesn't rival the best standard gaming microphones, the Cloud 3's microphone quality is comparable to the Razer Blackshark V2 Pro 2023 features and software of the Cloud 3. The HyperX Cloud 3 is designed to operate with HyperX's universal peripheral software, Ingenuity. However, the application has been problematic, failing to recognize the headset about half the time. These issues might be linked to pre-release bugs, but given previous issues with Ingenuity and device detection, this is uncertain. On rare occasions, Ingenuity does recognize the Cloud 3. Several adjustable settings appear to have little or no impact. The only options that seem to make a difference are the volume and microphone sliders, the latter controlling input gain that ranges from barely audible to still somewhat quiet. Toggle options for mic monitoring, DTS spatial sound, and the equalizer seem to be non-functional at the moment. Despite extensive testing, I was unable to discern any difference when these settings were toggled on or off. It's unclear if these issues are due to a pre-release problem that will be rectified upon launch, a problem specific to my test unit or my PC, despite testing on multiple PCs or if HyperX will issue a future fix. HyperX's Cloud 3 is a commendable upgrade, built upon the eight years of success enjoyed by its predecessor, the Cloud 2. It retains the popular features of the Cloud 2 while enhancing build quality, comfort, and to some degree, audio quality. Although its sound profile is fairly balanced, there are issues in the higher mids and highs. However, the inconsistency in the highs observed in the Cloud 2 has been notably improved in the Cloud 3. The headset also sports a new microphone with a few quirks, but it's adequate for casual communications. Ranking as one of the most comfortable headsets I've ever worn, I easily forgot I had it on. It's high-end appearance, highlighted by premium leatherette padded ear cups and aluminum forks, exceeds its reasonable price tag of $99. While not the cheapest on the market, the Cloud 3 offers one of the best value propositions, appearing significantly more upscale than its comparably priced competitors, like the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 1 and the Razer's Black Shark V2X, both priced at $59.99. But don't take my word for it. Go ahead, try it out for yourself, and let us know your experience in the comments below. Your opinions and experience matter to us, and they help our community grow. If you found this review useful, do give us a like and share this video with your friends who are looking for a quality headset. We regularly post reviews and other content about the latest technology. To stay up to date with all our future content, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Remember, your support helps us continue doing what we love. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.